Hotel Echo Lima, Lima Oscar. Good evening from London, England. Or is it good morning as you're getting up, getting ready to go to work by a car, public transport? Good afternoon, you can be going to work. to rewrite selector anyway let's get into it yeah um first half we matched liverpool toe to toe blow for blow we defended so superbly it was um, a moment to be proud to be an arsenal fan um the only one effort we had on target was um well, an opportunity that fell to Odegaard. Whether he hits it on the laces first time or takes a touch and smashes it first time, it would have been ideal. But what he's done, he's taken the touch, fair enough, and he's gone for a curler. And he took um, a tad too long. By the time he released that shot, guess what? Liverpool, The two Liverpool defenders and Ellison were prepared. And prepared Ellison was because he made a fine save. Second half, we came out um, with a purpose. We came out fighting the first 10 minutes of that second half. Yeah, we were in the game. Up until <clears throat> the point where we were sleeping. flat. We were caught flat-footed. And um, before you know it, one free ball and Diego Ota or Jota he unleashes the shot <laughs> on target at the near post but Ramsdale has got to do better he has got to do better I don't um, fault him I don't hold that against him because he made a superb save in the first moments of the first half and he had to make that save Second goal, three minutes later, was it four minutes later? Uh, it was a gift. I think Bukayo Saka, you know, he committed suicide by not clearing it and conceding the throw. He's, play, he's played a, clearing, a, a clearance that was meant to be a pass. And, uh, well, Robertson's launched onto it. And before you know it, he's played it, he's played it across as a cutback. And Firmino was not going to miss the tapping for where he was 2-0. And you could see the heads had dropped. They'd given up. And I felt like I've given up because of watching my um, 11 heroes give up. And that's not acceptable if we're going to do well against the so-called top six. It's just not acceptable. But without further ado, let's get into the player ratings. Um, Aaron Ramsdale. Well, made a good save. Good handling, but um, he spoiled it by um, getting beat at the near post. And his kicking was so superb, but I'm going to, I'm going to have to give him a six. I love you, Ramsdale. I congratulate you on your England call-up, but for me... You were um, caught out of the near post for me. And I'm going to give you a six. Um, Cedric Suarez caught out for, for both of those goals. They they came from east side. From defensively, a lapse of concentration. Not not particularly, not particularly prepared. And he ultimately paid the price. Um, give him a five. Um, Benjamin White, well, you could say um, when Thiago played that through ball, he could have been more um, 
act proactive. But he was not um, to be proactive. And um, I'm giving him a six. Gabriel Dos Santos Magueles. Um, yeah, made some intercept, good interceptions, good tackles. <coughs> but again, he's part of that um, defence that um, conceded two goals. Maybe he was um, a little bit slow to get to Roberto Firmino. Six. Kieran Tierney. Yeah, again. I'm not, uh, um, defensively, he weren't too bad. He had to make a crucial um, interception to stop Mohamed Salah uh, potentially getting a third. But other than that, offensively, I didn't see enough of him. You know, I think um, he was shut down too quickly. For me, a five. Right, Thomas Partey. One of our best performers. I'm going to give him a seven. He was um, unique on the ball, tenacious in the, in the battle, and um, won most of his duels, I think. I'm giving him a seven. Granite Shaka, he didn't have a too much of a... He didn't have a bad game. I didn't have a, yeah, I thought he was um, as um, proactive as possible and competitive. Um, he had a... Attempted um, shot at the far post in the first half. Was it first half? Yeah, first half, but went wide. Other than that, nah, not for me. I'm giving him, yeah, for me, not too bad. I'm going to give him a six and a half. Um, Bakayo Saka, mine his best game at all from an offensive point of view. Um wayward part of a stray passes um decision making was poor from him yesterday night i'm gonna give him a, a five no i'm gonna score him lower than that i'm gonna get, give him a four i'm going to be honest on his best performance and we know we can get better martin odegaard great link up play um in spells of the matches but um faded away towards the end especially when we were two nil down five uh, Gabriel Martinelli I'll tell you what I'll give him an 8 he was absolutely tremendous the manner that he had Trent Alexander-Arnold on toast and some of his play especially in that second half where he nutmegged the Liverpool defender and he cut it across there's no one there to finish it you see and it, um, a top striker with uh, instant reaction would have got onto the end of that um, cut back nevertheless I can't fault Martinelli his work rate um, his offensive um, display absolutely on point um, an 8 right Alexander Lacazette he was more marks at the, he was in um, yeah he spent more time in your know, Matty's pocket than um, spending more time in a 6 yard box again it highlights where we need to strengthen Times two strikers, yeah. Five for him. Lack of threat, lack of fight, lack of desire, lack of everything. <laughs> Do I need to go on? Right. The substitutions. Um, who was the first one? Emil Smith Rowe. He had a little bit of an impact. Um, but again, just yeah, didn't have no, um, enough of the ball, and when he did. They were only in glimpses, so I'm scoring them a five. And I love you, Emil Smith Robot. You have to have a five. Nicola Pepe. I don't even know why he came on. Didn't have that much of an impact either. As such. When he well, to the well, to be honest, he had the ball and I wanted him to run directly at the Liverpool um fullback. But it was like he made it comfortable for Robinson. He didn't run at him. He kept um, shifting it um, aside and passing it across. Nah. Scoring him a four. Not impressed. Eddie Nketia. I'm not even going to bother scoring him. He's a guy out of contract. How does he even get minutes on the pitch from the bench? Oh, there you go. A cock up by Mikel Arteta. So, I'm not scoring him. Speaking of the manager, well, everything was um, all on point. You can see, when Liverpool had the ball, 
among when Liverpool had the ball amongst um, their defenders, there was no pressure. So it was obvious that Arsenal had to sit back and soak up um, so much pressure. But other than that, they pressed um, Liverpool. They pressed Liverpool when they could. When we received the ball, you could see that um, there was a purpose to attack Liverpool. But other than that, as they faded away, I think he faded away in um, galvanising the team and getting us back into the game. It was never going to be a point in the game that... There was never going to be a moment in, in that fixture where we were going to get a goal. I'm scoring him a five. The ref, uh, Andre Mariner, oh, he can have a three. Just awful refereeing. He should have awarded fouls when it need, needed to be um, rewarded. I can't um, give this guy any more than a three. He can have a three. Um, the fans, I'll give the fans... I'll tell you what, I'll give the fans a reasonable nine. They got behind the team... They, they're, they're the only ones that you could say their heads never dropped. I was in amongst that crowd and my head dropped because I, f I saw my players had dropped. So I'm going to have a head drop and <sighs> just wasn't to be, you know. But the fans were absolutely superb that night. So in the cold, turned up in their droves, got behind the team, you know. And I don't make excuses. We came up against one of the best sides in world football. You know, Liverpool. Great players. Great talented players. But we, us fans got behind the team. So I'm going to give them... Their fan, I'm going to give our fans a nine. Right. So let me just um, wrap this up and say, ladies, gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, once again, thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. If you were watching all over the world, anywhere around the world. <coughs> and um, saving the best to last, as I always do. Thank you so ever so much for putting up with me. From the heart. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow um, with another video content. And all I want you to do is like, smash the thumbs up like button, respond um, your opinions in the comment section below and that's where I keep my positive feedback in that section share this channel all over the world virally up and down the planet especially to your friends and your relatives and smash the subscribe button left right and centre and passionately galore and let's get more subscribers to the channel this is the road to 1000 subscribers so let's get going yeah thank you all yeah Peace, love and bless again. Take care of your friends, take care of your families, take care of yourselves. Also, on top of that, yeah. What was I going to say? Keep warm, stay safe. Until next time, DLG Repping, we'll talk again. I'm out of here. All I need to say is just please be nice. <laughs>